After understanding the returns to scale of CES production function, finally we focus on the interrelationship of CES production function and Cobb Douglas production function. And we know that CES contains Cobb Douglas production function as a subcase of it. So I suggest that you subscribe so that you get some creative material and related to the softwares and the quantitative side of economics. Here uh, we are going to do the conversion of CES production function into Cobb Douglas production function. We are resorting to one of the simplified versions where V is equal to 1 so that we are assuming that CRS prevails. So now it is uh, more convenient because when V is equal to 1 it is the case of CRS and that holds true for Cobb Douglas production function. So we can't see V here because it is reduced to 1. Moreover we also assume gamma is equal to 1. So it will bring simplicity and we will be free of this term. Now when we put 1 instead of this it uh, becomes this which further reduces to 1 and now we have got rid of uh, one that uh, the gamma term and now we can take the total differential on both sides when we take the total differential it will look like this here the differential is taken this is the result here we have introduced the differentials on both of the terms before and after the addition and when we solved it here we have these results uh, gamma is uh, definitely not here anymore because we assumed it equal to 1 now we can cancel out a few things for example uh, minus rho which is present on both sides when we cancel them out we are left with these terms now these terms are rearranged in a certain way because the parts they are negative of all of these variables so if we reciprocalize these variables, their power will become positive. So this minus uh, rho plus uh, minus 1 will become rho plus 1 when reciprocalized. This will also become rho plus 1 when k is reciprocalized. And this will also become rho plus 1 when labor is reciprocalized. Remaining terms are the same. You can pause the video and focus as if, uh, if there is any uh, issue in that. Now the Cobb Douglas production function requires rho is equal to 0. This is something we have studied because in this case rho is equal to 0 and sigma is equal to 1. We have proved it already. You can go back to that video and see. But here we are having rho in these expressions. So we are going to put 0 instead of rho. Here we are 0 in all those places where rho was present and the term has now reduced to this expression. We know that the derivative of a natural logarithmic function is 1 over x. So in case of capital, the derivative will be equal to this. And in case of labor, the derivative of natural log of labor will be equal to this. In case of output, the derivative of the output, natural log, natural log of output will be equal to this. Now we are going to rewrite them because we are looking at these terms that is the differential and the original value, differential and the original value, differential and the original value. So if I shift this differential to the other side it will appear here and the original value is here in the denominator. So this is the expression that we already have and we can do some substitution. Instead of this I will write this. Same holds for the expression for labor and same holds for the expression of output. So you can pause the video and see this cross multiplication. Now I have all these values that I can substitute here. So now for the sake of ease I have introduced the boxes here so that you know that which value has been substituted. Here after substitution you can see those boxes and now it is uh, possible to get rid of these differentials because we are trying to get to the Cobb Douglas production function in which there are no integrals, there are no differentials, there are no natural logs, etc. 
so this is why we are trying to get rid of the uh, these uh, uh, various operators so the differential can be gotten rid of by taking the integral on both sides so we have taken the integral here you can see integral is distributed to all of the terms and here integral and differential is cal uh, di cancelled out so we are left with natural log here the same will happen this differential and uh, integral this differential and the integral after cancelling these we are left with uh, this expression we have also introduced the constant of integration which is uh, generated whenever we integrate and now we can uh, do a little uh, adjustment and that adjustment is to bring these coefficients into the powers of the natural logs because we know that uh, this is a law of logarithm that the coefficients they become power or the powers they become the coefficients so we have written these coefficients in the power as you can see delta appears in the power and 1 minus delta which was there in the coefficient now appears in the power secondly another law of logarithm can help us that when two logs are being added we can uh, take the log of those two terms while multiplying them so here we are those two terms are being multiplied and the whole log is taken after this uh, we are going to raise it to the exponent and the purpose of taking the exponent is to get rid of natural log because we are getting close to the standard form of the Cobb Douglas production function raising it to exponent will uh, cancel out the natural log and the exponent here on both sides you will see that but before we uh, cancel it out here we can see that uh, exponent is for the constant of integration as well so I have separated this with the exponent the constant of integration and now I can cancel it out here when I do the term here will be left as you can see it is left here and this will be another constant because the exponent of a constant will remain a constant not a variable so I represent this uh, resultant constant with a and I write this a here and write these variable terms here so now it appears like a standard form of the Cobb Douglas production function so after all of these steps we have transformed the CES production function into Cobb Douglas production function which is the testimony of the fact that Cobb Douglas production function is one of the cases of the more general form of the production function known as the CES production function thank you